Swifties assemble. Taylor Swift's 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department, is officially here. And as fans expected, the release is a double dose of heartbreak. Taylor revealing two albums worth of breakup songs and, of course, Easter eggs. From insight into Taylor's split with actor Joe Alwyn to her rumored fling with 1975 singer Maddie Healy and, yes, even her romance with Travis Kelsey. We're decoding Taylor's most devastating lyrics about about love and loss with a boy by boy breakdown. Starting with Joe. Fans are already speculating that songs I Could Do It with a Broken Heart and LOML, which some say stands for Love of My Life, could be about Joe. But there's no doubt that So Long London is definitely about the notoriously private star. The Grammy winner had a six year relationship with a London based actor, and many are specifically looking to this line about her quiet resentment about the length of their relationship. I'm pissed off you let me give you all that youth for free. For so long. London. Taylor also adds, you swore that you loved me, but where were the clues? I died on the altar waiting for the proof. You sacrifice us to the gods of your blue estate. Of course, Taylor has referenced the color blue in relation to Joe many times throughout her music. She's also touched on wanting to build a life with him and get married in songs like Paper Rings, Lover, Peace, and You're Losing Me. On to Maddie Healy, whom Taylor dated briefly when she split from Joe in 2023. Even though this relationship seems to be one of her shortest, there appears to be a lot of songs dedicated to the 1975 frontman. Fans are pointing to as many as seven songs, including But Daddy I Love Him, Fresh Out the Slammer, Guilty as Sin, and The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived. The album kicks off with a song called Fortnite, aka the term for two weeks time. That's about how long fans speculate Taylor and Maddie were together last year, though the dating rumors really started way back in 2014. On the album's title track, Taylor sings, You left your typewriter at my apartment Straight from the tortured poet's department Fans think that's a clear reference to the singer who has made his love of the vintage technology clear in previous interviews. But I really like typewriters as well. I don't have one with me because that is really impractical. Taylor also seems to reference some trolls of her and Maddie's rumored fling on I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can. Singing, they shake their heads saying, God help her when I tell him he's my man, but your Lord doesn't need to lift a finger. I can fix him, no really I can. And if you thought Tortured Poets was just gut-wrenching anthems about Tay's past, think again. The singer seems to hint at her current love, Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, in So High School. She also drops several football references on The Alchemy. So when I touch down, call the amateurs and cut them from the team. Ditch the clowns, get the crown, baby, I'm the one to be. There's also mentions of warming benches and winning streaks, and as we know, Taylor was present at all of Travis's NFL games last season, including their Super Bowl championship. While Swifties have been untangling the lyrics' potential references to past breakups, Taylor has made one thing clear, she's leaving the past behind her. Writing on Instagram, this period of the author's life is now over. The chapter closed and boarded up. There's nothing to avenge, no scores to settle once wounds have healed. And upon on further reflection, a good number of them turned out to be self-inflicted.